Hey guys, we're up in the mountains again. Of course, this is where we're at, Mountain Warrior Kung Fu. And we're in the mountains a lot. I love it up here. It was cold last night. I'm guessing right now it's about uh, 35 to 40 degrees here this morning. Pretty chilly out. Man, the horse gave me a wild run up the mountain today. She was flying. It was crazy. We were really going. She really worked me out. So I'm, uh, I'm worn out already. In this video today, I want to do a quick tutorial on your orange belt level kicks, okay? We've got five kicks in this level, all right? We've got the straight leg outside crescent kick, snapping outside crescent kick, straight leg inside crescent kick, and snapping inside crescent kick. So it's really two kicks, outside and inside crescent kicks, done both straight leg and snapping version, all right? And then we've got your back leg wheel kick with finesse, all right? Now, on these kicks, I've got two pairs of pants on, it's cold, and even though I'm warmed up from the horse, I don't know how high I'm gonna be kicking, all right? So let's, let's give it a go here. But the main thing is to watch the action here. We start with the crescent kicks in an open position for our training position, okay? Now remember, there is no fighting stance. Oh man, I could go on for hours about people talking about fighting stances. Sorry, just looking at my horse back there, all right? So, fighting stances, there aren't any. There are training postures and positions. Pay attention to that so we train from the same point all the time so we can stay tracking on the same line. Realize fighting is movement, fighting is fluidity. Don't forget that, you're never gonna be in a stance. All right, so we're in an open position, right? Feet are spread apart, and we're going straight leg outside crescent kick, which means the legs stay straight. You see yourself as having a great big high back wooden chair right in front of you. You gotta get up over the chair on this side and come down over on the other side of it, and we're gonna turn the bottom foot through that kick. So, straight leg outside crescent kick. Right there. Notice that I keep my eyes looking towards you. All right, I don't let my eyes look to the back. I keep my eyes looking towards you. I do turn the bottom foot into this kick. Leg stays straight, big circle. Boom, right there. I come down and then I come back. That's your straight leg outside crescent kick. Snapping outside crescent kick, your thigh maintains the same circle, but you bend your knees. So you do this great big circle with just the upper portion of your leg, knees bent as you come around. Bottom foot, the foot stays on the ground, your supporting foot, it moves the same way. All we're doing is bending the knee and snapping through the action. So I bend the knee, I come up wide with my knee, and I snap through the action. Snap, right there. It's a very, very simple action. Bend the knee, big circle, snap through the center of the action. Right there. Your straight leg inside crescent kicks are going to be the exact same thing as your outside, but going to the inside and across. We don't turn the supporting foot though. So the leg just comes up, big circle, and around. Whoa, my pants aren't allowing me to get a very big circle there. As big a circle as you can, way over as far as you can, way across, big circle. Big, big circle. Now same thing with your snapping. Bend the knee, snap it through. Bend, snap. That's all there is to it. Remember, the upper portion of the leg is maintaining the same large arc. You're just bending the knee and snapping through the center of that. Boom, and there's your snapping inside crescent kick. Now we've got our back leg wheel kick with finesse. We start in a closed position, totally sideways here. The important part, 70% of this kick, the important part of this kick is the foot that's on the ground. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna have uh, my lovely wife, Sue, pay attention to the foot that's on the ground here, kind of zoom in on that a little bit, not too close, and the lead foot, what's gonna happen, it's gonna be the one that stays on the ground. We turn to start the kick, and then we come up. Now I'm not gonna kick this time, I'm just gonna turn the foot properly. Watch how far my supporting foot turns. Wow, okay, my heel turned almost all the way towards you. We're gonna do that one more time there on the camera. I turn the foot to start, to forward, and then I come up the middle with the back leg, and then as I throw it over for the kick, the foot turns, whoa, way over there. Good, come on back up here, Sue. That particular kick is as though you were in a narrow hallway. Do not let your leg go outside. This is not a back leg wheel kick with power. It is coming up the center and then snapping over like you're kicking in a very narrow hallway, very narrow space. So I'm here, hands are up. I turn, hands stay up. Both feet are turned forward. I come up the center with that back leg like I'm gonna knee you in the chin. And at the last second, I turn my foot and my hips over and throw the wheel kick. Boom, right there. Okay, come down in front, nice and solid. And you come back to do that again. All right, those are your kicks in the orange belt level. The things you have to learn, the kicks you have to learn to become a purple belt. All right, this has been a great tutorial for you today. I wanted to talk just for a moment here about how you're fueling your bodies. Fuel, 
we talk about diet, we talk about holiday diet, we talk about eating well, we talk about eating well all the time. Man, in my school, if you're there at all, you know I'm talking about diet all the time. I am, I'm beside myself as to absolutely how energetic I am compared to what I would be if I ate all the crap out there. And Sue and I are seeing it. As we grow older, it's kind of funny. We're in our mid 40s right now. You wouldn't know it. I know I look like I'm 22 and I'm in the shape of a 16 year old really strong. I understand that. But we're in our mid 40s right now. And I don't want to freak you out with that, all right? Because we are the fountain of youth happening right here. And it's because of how we eat, it's our lifestyle. Really, I mean, I've been falling apart. I know so many people that are just falling apart in their mid 40s, getting into their early 50s, just falling apart all around me. I've known these people for years. Some people are really strong, training hard in their 30s, doing pretty good, but not eating well, and I see it catching up with them. All right, you are making an investment in your future. This is your healthcare plan, all right? You've got to exercise. You hear me talk about that all the time. Get your body moving up the mountain, and you've got to fuel your body well. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. I'm, I just, ah, I reached through the camera there, right there and I wanna grab you and I wanna shake you. And I wanna tell you, you've got to eat good foods. Stop eating the crap at McDonald's and all the other fast food joints. Start working more at eating good stuff at home, paying attention to how you feel your body because this is gonna be the investment in how you feel five, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. I guarantee it, I didn't always eat this way. I did not feel this good in my early to mid 30s. I had health issues when I got into eating better and Sue got into eating better. We started studying this process. Our bodies got healthier. It is our lifeline to longevity and great health as we get older. All right. I'll see you at class.